Hey, what is up, guys? This is Cash Freak Tim from CashFreak.com, and today we are talking about going paperless with your iPod Classic, Mini, or Nano. Now, what is paperless? Paperless is the ability to take all that data on geocaching's website as far as the descriptions, the hints, the logs, and then put them on a d the device so you can take them with you while you're going out geocaching. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, the reason is pretty simple. If you have an older GPS unit, older than a couple years, the unit probably does not have built-in paperless geocaching right in the unit itself. So that means you either have to print out the logs and the descriptions and all that good stuff on paper and carry it with you when you're caching, or you have to put it on some sort of digital device and carry that with you while you're out geocaching. Personally, I think the iPod makes a perfect tool for carrying with you while you're out caching. You know, they're extremely small, they can fit in your pocket, and most of us have an older one laying around. And that's what we're going to talk about today, using those older iPods and putting the geocaching paperless data on them. Let's get started. All you need to do to do this, you need three things. One is you need an older iPod. Uh, personally, I'm using an older iPod Classic, uh, but this will also work with any of the Nanos, any of the older iPod Minis that have the black and white screen on them. If you have an older iPod, this will probably work. Second thing you're going to need is you're going to need a copy of iTunes, which you probably already have. If you don't, head on over to iTunes website and download it. And the third thing you're going to need is an application called Cash Magnet. Now, if you don't have that, don't worry. It's 100% free. All you have to do is head on over to the website, which is down at the bottom of your screen right now, sites.google.com slash site slash cash magnet. Once you get in there, you're going to go to the download link, and you have to download two things. The first is Microsoft.net 2.0. You're going to click that first link, download it, install it. Then once that's good to go, you're going to download the second link, which is cash magnet itself. You're going to download it, install it, and after that, you should be good to go. So once you have your iPod, Cash Magnet, and iTunes ready to go, there's one quick thing we need to do first. And what you want to do is plug in your iPod. You're going to open up iTunes. You're going to select your iPod in the sidebar. And then you're going to scroll all the way down. And you have to check this box that says Enable Disk Use. A little warning box will pop up. You're going to click OK and then you're going to click apply to apply those changes. iTunes will take a couple seconds and then it'll be ready to go. Once iTunes is done syncing and the enable disk use box is checked, you can go ahead and minimize iTunes out of the way and you can go ahead and open up Cash Magnet. Now this program does a few different things but all we're going to use it for is just syncing our information over to the iPod. It's very simple to do. You can either drop caches in here one at a time from the geocaching.com website. To make it easier on you though, uh, if you, you can also drop in a pocket query, which is what I'm going to do. I have a pocket query here, which I, I created earlier and I downloaded to my computer. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to drop it into Cache Magnet. It'll go ahead and import all the geocaches from the pocket query. It'll take a few seconds and then it should be ready to go. Once Cache Magnet is done, we're going to go up to Devices. We're going to go to Send Waypoints to iPod. You can either have it send just the waypoints you check, or you can have it send all waypoints. We're going to have it send all the waypoints to the iPod. Your iPod should be automatically detected up here. If it's not, unplug it and plug it back in and then click Detect iPod and that should fix the problem. Once you have those settings ready to go, you're just going to click OK. Little dialog box will come up and start sending all the waypoints to the iPod. If you're dropping in a very large pocket query, this may take a couple minutes, so just let it do its thing and it'll be ready to go.
once it's done you can go ahead and hit close and that's it all of the geocaches and paperless data has now been sent to your iPod so let's take a look at the iPod and see what it looks like alright once all the geocaches have been sent over to the iPod you can go ahead and unplug it and uh, here you can see I'm using an older iPod Classic. Uh, like I said, this will also you work with any Nanos or older iPod Minis as well. So to get to the paperless data, you can either go to the main menu, scroll down to Notes. Uh, if you don't have Notes on your main menu, you may have to go into Extras first and then go into Notes. Once you go into Notes, you will now see that you now have a cache magnet folder. You can go into that and you'll see all the geocaches are going to be loaded by name or by waypoint. You know, by name obviously they are going to be spelled alphabetically by name and if you go to all by waypoint you're going to see that they are listed by their GC code. You can then at that point select any geocache and you can see its hints, logs, or the description. Clicking on the name itself will show you the description for the geocache. It will show you everything that would be shown on the geocaching site. You can also bring up the hints. And you can also bring up logs. And this will show you whether the cache has previously been found or not found, who it was found by, and also the last date that it was found. So, like I said, I think these iPods, older iPods, are a great tool for paperless caching. I think you guys will really like them while you're out in the field. It's much easier to carry this around than it would be to print out all this information on paper and carry it with you. It's very easy to update, and you know, if you need to add any, remove any, you just do the exact same steps that I showed you through Cache Magnet, and it'll do the exact same thing. So I hope you guys got some use out of this. Uh, if you liked what I showed you, go ahead and put it in the comments. Let me know. If there's anything else you guys want to see as well, please let me know that. Uh, you can head over to my website, cashfreak.com, drop me a comment, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and until next time, I will talk to you guys later.